Hi. <laughs> a lot of videos I made in one day. I guess it's kind of like a like a burst of creativity. Anyway, I don't know if you know who I am. My name is Anthony Gibbs. Before we delve any further. And um, and the purpose of this video, a lot of times I'll post about um, yeah, historical things or whatever or not, but this is more just an opinion. This is like editorial, like the one you would see like in the old days, kind of when the news was over and they let some old stuffy dude give you a, a two minute editorial about some type of shit. Well, anyway, this is along that same line. And I guess what this is about, not I guess, what this is about is essentially, well, I'm rather tired of the uh, PC movement. And um, and I'm starting to feel like like uh, like the uh, PC movement and such is, is destroying our country, pretty much. Uh, destroying our, our, uh, our capacity to talk to one another um, and those things. <clears throat> oh, that's better. So anyway, um, what I'm getting at is just recently, um, Mike Dick was uh, let go off of uh, off of ESPN. That he dared say that uh, Barack Obama was the worst president ever. And we bring back Reagan. Well, I voted for Obama twice. And I still love Mike Dick, and I don't have to agree with him. You know, it's, I think often with the freedom of speech and those kind of things, you know, freedom of speech is always, is always relative to um, if folks want to hear what you have to say and agree with it. I mean, freedom of speech seems to evaporate rapidly, especially these days, if someone dares say something that somebody doesn't like. You know, Mike Dick was not obligated to tell you something that you wanted to hear. And one might say he's there to discuss football and not politics. Well, he wasn't even on a um, NFL show, per se. He was on some radio show. They asked him some question, and he gave him an answer. He wasn't on a countdown talking about his feelings about, you know, about, about Obama. That was not the case. You know, and so he dares give an opinion, and now he's fired. You know, and uh, I'm not going to go into uh, conservative, you know, bias or liberal whatever. Right? That's not the point of this. What the point is, is that it doesn't matter if you're liberal or conservative or whatever it is. If you say something that is unpopular or it goes against the grain, you know, People reserve the right to tar and feather you, and it's just not cool. You know, I mean, people talk about a free exchange. What free exchange do you have? If you voice an opinion, and all of a sudden, everybody in their mind is shouting you down or calling you names or firing you from your job, and you know, it's and it's doubly horrible because we because all the stuff. With racism and sexism, that's real. That's that's real shit. You can see real shit in, within that shit. <laughs> it's not discussed. If one might say that a PC movement is a convenient smokescreen to do not discuss the things that are fucking real. You know some woman gets so offended about something some man couldn't say that could be construed and that's discussed but women getting sexually assaulted constantly is not discussed up until somebody writes a writes a letter and said and we all go whoa well yeah that woman, that, that woman said uh, uh you didn't know me but you've been inside of me that's the nature of rape Especially, you know, stranger rape. What's new about that? We needed someone to tell us that? But we're so numb that we need... that also like, oh my. Well, yeah. As long as we're squeamish about not discussing anything that 
that we don't like to hear, guys that go on doing what they're doing because they know that we don't want to get into it. So we'd rather not. You know, it's with anything. A few people who are hypersensitive want to push the conversation, push the conversation on people, but want to push it their way. And then you got like, on it's, it's like what, what, what guy told me. On one side, you have the hypersensitive. On the other side, you got the fucking assholes who don't give a fuck about anything. Don't want to hear it. Don't care. Because it ain't their fucking problem anyway. So between the assholes and between the shrill people, the rest of us are packed in the middle with shit. Because we can't discuss shit. We can't do shit without somebody on this side or that side fucking freaking out. And that's where we are with discourse right now in this country. And that's why I'm so upset about my ticket being fired. I don't have to. Matter of fact, I don't want to fucking agree with what anybody else says. Here and there, I want to hear something that's outside of my fucking purview. Outside of my circle. Instead of sitting, you know, I, you know, I don't, I don't need my shit fucking filtered to make me feel better. Thank you very fucking much. And I'm tired of living in a society where the hypersensitive and the assholes have the floor, and the rest of us get fucked. I'm tired of it. I don't want to live in a world like that. And I think many others don't either. It's about time we fucking said something. Before these assholes run us out of, out of everything. And next thing you know, you can't shit without offending somebody. So. So. Anyway, that's all I got to say on that, you know, and um, to my dick, uh, I, I, I hope you lay on your feet, you're an honorable gentleman, and I don't have to fucking agree with you to respect you, because if I'm doing a fine job, ha, so all the conservative types who want to come in my post and play me, I don't give a fuck. It's America, and we're all entitled to our opinion. So anyway, you guys have a good night. Bye-bye.